What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. Liam here from the Teal Content Team, and today I wanted to show you how you can use ChatGPT to write a cover letter. Yes, cover letters are unfortunately still very much a thing. We're making pitches to have them removed, but you know, that's a slow process. So for now, let's just show you how to write one as fast as possible while still having it be effective. All right, let's jump right in. To make this as easy as possible, you wanna have a few things open. Go ahead and open up ChatGPT. Go ahead and open up the job description of the job you're gonna write the cover letter for. And then also you wanna open up your resume. Now in ChatGPT, your prompt is key for actually getting the right results. So your prompt is gonna be, write a cover letter with metrics for the following job description, use my resume for reference, and keep it less than 400 words. 400 words being the recommended maximum length for a cover letter. Now that is our prompt, it looks good. Now go to your job description and go ahead and highlight all the main sections of the job description. Right click, copy. Now go over to ChatGPT, shift enter twice, right click, paste. Now moving on, go to your resume and here you can highlight the whole thing except for your personal information here at the top. Once again, right click, copy, over to ChatGPT, shift enter twice again and right click, paste. After that, just hit run, enjoy the typing out of the results, which is always fun to watch. And once it works on it for a minute, we can take a look at the results. All right, so checking out the results, there are three main things we're looking out for. The first thing is coverage on our career. We're looking for years of experience, notable achievements. The second thing is references to this specific job. And the third thing is representing the skills and value that we can bring to this new company that we wanna work for. So let's go back up to the top. First thing to note, all this detail here at the top with your name, address, and the company's information, these are things that you can fill out after you copy the results out of ChatGPT. That's all very important, so make sure any cover letter that you do send has this information. But moving down to the body now, the first thing, that's a green check here at the top, we have 10 years of experience, which is our years of experience in the field. We have the job title we're going for, and we also have the company name, that's big wins in the first paragraph. Moving down, this whole second paragraph is about our career history. We have achievements with metrics, which is very important. We have brief summaries on our previous roles, and as a whole, this shows a great summary of our career so far. Moving down right here, this paragraph is all about reference this new specific job we're after. You can see here at the top as the consumer brand lead, I will. And we talk about our experience and how we actually plan to use that experience in this new position. Our last paragraph here is a bit of a summary. Again, we're talking about our skills and how we can add value to this company. We're touching on our education here at the end. And it's always nice to wrap it up with terminology around, thank you for considering my application. I look forward to discussing more with you soon. What we wanna do with this now is copy the results. You can highlight the whole thing here and in some kind of text editor where you can export as a PDF, you're gonna drop in the results. Thank you, Adobe, for the notice. That's okay. At this point, you want to go into the cover letter and fill in all the specific personalized details with your name, your address, but also then the company's name, who the letter is actually going to be addressed to, and any of this other top information that we didn't give ChatGPT. Final note on this ChatGPT cover letter is with any AI writing, we always recommend doing an accuracy pass and a personalization pass. Now, we gave ChatGPT our resume, so when it came up with achievements, it's going to reference our resume, which is good. And we also gave it the job description, so any reference to the job itself should also be accurate, but because this is all important writing, make sure to read it through carefully and just make sure that the information there is actually accurate. And then once that's done, read it through in your own voice and make sure it actually sounds like you. Using tools like ChatGPT is a great way to save time with the writing, but you still want the results to reflect your personality as much as possible. So go through the cover letter in where possible, where you see fit, inject any of your own language that you typically use that you would also use in something like an interview. But with those two things good, you have a solid cover letter, absolutely ready to apply for some jobs. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you're not familiar with the Teal platform, check out the links below to get started. Thank you again. See you again soon.